Guess who's got another mic to review? Me. What's going on YouTube family? It's KC. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you're well. Hope you're safe. So, I've got another mic to review. These mics are coming in thick and fast. I'm going to run out of space to, to stock them. I actually like doing these reviews because if it's going to help you to, in making a decision on which mic's best for you to do your podcasts or your studio recordings, then yeah, I'm all for it. Before we dive into the video, I need to do a couple of things. First of all, shout out my two new subscribers and favourite comment for this week. So shout out my two new subscribers, Tam, Wei, Yi. Hope I pronounced that properly, bro. And Teacher Karen, hell yeah. Thank you both for subscribing. I appreciate you both. Hope you would have seen the shout out today. If you'd have hit that notification bell and watch today's video, you will see it. Favourite comment for this week is coming from Doo Wap Beats. Appreciate your comment, bro. That video, I know I said, roll to 20k by the end of this year. It's looking a little bit unlikely, but you never know. One video could get recommended and bring in some more subscribers and yeah, we, we don't know. But, so I've kind of, I've gone, I've gone back a little bit and gone on to roll to 10k, which seems more doable. And I want to do a video on goal setting and stuff like that, but yeah, roll to 10k. Let's, let's hit that one for the end of this year. Let's get into this mic review, but first let me grab a cup of tea. I don't know if you noticed, but I, I love a cup of tea. So yeah, tea time it is. Okay, let's see what we've got inside this box. Got a feeling it's gonna be similar to the, the last mic that I reviewed, same sort of thing. So I'm just gonna see what we've got inside the box, quickly set it up and then just do a couple of tests. So I'm actually gonna test it against the other mic that I reviewed in my last product review. And we're gonna hear how they compare. So first of all, I'm liking the, the box that it comes in. You can tell they spent a bit of money, a bit of the budget on the box. So hopefully they haven't taken away from the actual mic quality. I like that. Neatly packaged. The ball's, the board, <laughs> the box, it's, it's quite small, so it seems quite condensed, which is cool. Doesn't take up much space for storage. So we've got the shield for the, for the mic, plosive shield. Nice little pot shield. Is it a double one? No. Nope. Single pot shield. It's not a bad thing. Branded as well. And then we have in here instructions, cable, shock absorber. Nice boom arm, feels like good quality. It's got a nice smell to it as well. A couple of the uh, tires as well, so you can tie up the cables, which is always a bonus. And then we have, so that's the clamp that you clip, clamp onto your, your work surface. That'll clamp onto the boom arm. And then we have the mic. Nice little package here. Yeah, this is actually quite nice. Mayona. Feels good. I like the uh, the finish. It's a nice finish. Black with the white writing. The branding on there. Pretty decent mic. Feels, it feels like I said, it feels good. It feels sturdy. Quickly set it up. I want to compare it to the to the other mic. One second. I actually forgot to tell you what the mic's called. <laughs> it's a Mayono condenser studio microphone setup. So the Mayono AUPM three three twenty S professional audio innovation. Because it's a condenser mic, you're gonna need phantom power. Forty eight volts of phantom power. If you've got 
an audio interface that gives you the option of turning on phantom power then you're in with luck if you haven't got phantom power then you're gonna have to go out there and get some phantom power so just comparing the two mics this one's slightly bigger than the last one i reviewed just a little bit bigger both nice both look really good this is the se 1000 they don't look out of place in the professional setting but this this might a little bit different to what i'm i'm used to the style of it the design it's different it will stand out on this it will definitely stand out all right let's quickly set up this boom arm and get doing these reviews So we've got the mic set up, sturdy, looks good, feels good. So at the moment just using my normal mic, I'm gonna switch to this mic and see how it sounds. So now we're using the Mayono mic, no processing at all, no EQ, no noise reduction, nothing like that. I like how it makes my voice sound. It sounds quite crispy, decent. I don't think it's as, yeah, I don't think it's as boomy as some of the other mics that I've tried before. It feels like it's a lot more crisp and it's picking up a lot of sound. I'm actually quite close to the mic, probably the back here would be cool. Like I said in my last video, if you're up too close, you're gonna start getting that proximity effect. If you know it's there, when I said proximity, you get the plosives, that's where this comes into play, pop shield. So let's put that on and see what the plosives are like. Now we've got the pop filter on, probably about the right distance you would be to record vocals. The P's have died down, which makes it, means this is doing its job. This is exactly what you want. I haven't put the pop shield on, pop filter. I haven't put the pop filter on because I don't need to do that. And it'll just take up a whole heap of space so you wouldn't be able to see my, my face. Yeah, so that's more like a more like for when you're recording vocals. But when you're just recording podcast or gaming, then this is cool. Need a drink because I can hear myself in dry mouth. So this is the Miona mic. I'm gonna put the other mic in and see what that sounds like. So this is I've just plugged the other mic in. Roughly the same distance, same same gain level. I feel like this one's a little bit more thin, but let's try it with the pop shield on and see if that makes much of a difference right so we've got a pop shield on now have a quick listen to how it sound so if it makes a difference if it's still thin so for me this mic's a little bit more thin i'm actually impressed by how the mayona sounds let me switch back to the mayona mayona mic so you can hear the difference again so we're back using the mayona mic and i feel like the mayona mic's got the edge it's a little bit more expensive than the one i just tested but you get more or less the same thing you get the the boom arm you get the pop shield the pop filter the mic, the XLR, XLR cable, but I like how this one sounds. If I was to do YouTube videos and I had to choose out the two, I think I'd probably be choosing this mic here. It seems like good quality. And for the price bracket, if you're just starting out gaming or you're looking for a decent mic for podcasting, doing podcasts, then this could be a, a good choice for you. Let me know in the comments below which mic you preferred the sound of out of the Mayono and the other mic that I tested. I know which one I prefer. Mayono. I think that could actually be the best budget mic that I've reviewed so far. It's better than I, I thought it was, better than I expected it to, to sound. I, I really like the quality of the mic and comparing it to the other mic, I can hear the difference, I can hear the difference in quality. And at, at that price point, you're just starting off, like I said, gaming, YouTube videos, tutorials, podcasts. That's an ideal setup, I think. Decent. Let me know in the comments what you thought of the, the Mayono mic, if you like the sound of it, if you didn't like the sound of it, if you think it's a decent price. So yeah, just drop a comment below and let me know what you think. If you like this video at all, hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you get notified anytime I put up a new video. As per usual, I appreciate your time.